the rehearsal dinner was a room filled with family and friends and it was filled with love. We laughed, we cried. Jennifer, welcome to our family. We are so happy to have you as our daughter. Some words of advice to you both. As you go through life, remember that you don't always have to win every argument. Compromising is not a penalty. Your love for one another comes first. I'm not surprised that we find ourselves here today celebrating their marriage. I've never thought of Jen as David's fiance, but rather as a personal friend who has taken on the daunting endeavor of feeding, taming, and living with David. With these rings, we are joined together as husband and wife according to the laws of Moses and the people of Israel. I do love Dave and Jen just because the same way Dave looks out for everyone he cares about, they look out for each other. So I'm super excited for you guys' married life and happy to be part of this weekend. Take the time, step back, and enjoy. There's a lot going on these two days, but it's important for you two to step back and really enjoy that everybody here and everybody in the room tomorrow are people that you love, people that you've known forever from all walks of life. And it's important that you really take the time to step back and appreciate it because it goes by quick. Jennifer, as a young girl, she was the middle child of two sisters. And she had two sisters that had big personalities. And Jennifer, she was the type of child that just sat there and observed. David was very competitive, very determined. At the age of three, he told me he wanted to be an attorney and a soccer player, but a lawyer to make a living. He negotiated with me all through his childhood. It was always a challenge and well-respected. Did well in school and a big competitor. Love you. Love you. Goodbye. Thank my best. You. Thank you guys for being part of this. Love you all. The day with Jennifer was absolutely a perfect day. Everyone was in a good mood. Jennifer was calm, happy. Everything that day was seamless. Oh my God. So beautiful. Oh my God. I love it. Love it. Good. Gorgeous. Thank you. Love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> her hair, her makeup, the dress on her, she looked fabulous like a princess. Absolutely magnificent. Thank you. Do you like that? It's fucking stunning. <laughs> Eternal God, we stand before you. As we prepare to witness the wedding, Dave and Jen, we pray that as a new couple, as a new partnership, as husband and wife, that they reflect the best that they have heard and seen and learned from the people that we remember this afternoon that uh, the way they negotiate life, the way they speak, the words they use with each other will reflect the best that they, uh, again, have been taught by the people before them. And by so doing, they will honor these cherished relationships. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. It's 
Success in marriage is more than finding that right person. It will mean being that right person. And having both chosen the one who pleases them, may you always desire to please the one you have chosen. May you enrich each other while remaining true to yourselves. And for a lifetime, Dave and Jen, may you give to the other what is needed and a little more. But may you show the maturity it takes to take what you need from the other and no more. This moment that Jen and Dave have been anticipating is in Hebrew called Kiddushin. Holy, sacred, unique. Even as unique as it was their first date, going to dinner, going bowling, no moment has the holiness, the depth, the promise is this. And part of that uniqueness that April 23rd, 2022 will have is because all of you are here. Under the chuppah, you stand there and you see a sea of friends and family that um, shared David's life and Jennifer's life, and it was really beautiful, very, very special. Source of all love, we ask your blessings upon Jen and Dave, who have come under this chuppah to link their lives and their destinies together, even as love has already bound your hearts together. Help them, dear God, to understand that marriage means not possession, but sharing, and that you belong not to each other. You belong with each other. May you each find in your marriage the happiness you so ardently seek and so richly deserve. Jen, for two years now, we've been waiting for this day, waiting to be standing here, waiting to read these words to each other, and waiting for our lives to begin as husband and wife. In you, I found a partner, a lover, a best friend. You're the source of my biggest smiles and grandest laughs, but also you're my safe place where I can express my fears and anxieties without a worry. You provide me with all of my inspiration to be a better man while also keeping me grounded and focused. In return, I promise you with all of my heart to be that person for you. I promise to encourage you and challenge you to pursue each and every one of your dreams and I promise to support you in each and every one of those pursuits. Jen, I love you more than you'll ever know, and I'm beyond excited to start our lives together as husband and wife. I love you. Dave, I can't say we fell in love at first sight, or that I wasn't a little hesitant about you in the beginning of our time together, but I can say with 100% certainty that today I'm marrying my soulmate. You are my biggest supporter, my protector, confidant, and best friend. Over the last six years, you show me what great love looks like, and every morning I wake up and fall more in love with you. I love your kind heart and ability to understand me like no one else can. I love you for being the family man that you are, and I know that you will be the best father one day to our children. I promise to encourage you to follow your dreams. 
I promise to continue to challenge you to be the best version of yourself. I love the life that we built together thus far, and I cannot wait to see what's in store for the two of us. I chose you in 2016. I choose you today, and I will choose you forever. I promise to be your true companion always, for one lifetime with you could never be enough. I love you. By sharing the Talis today, you're making a commitment to each other. Your marriage is going to get 100% of the attention, the love it needs every day and deserves every day. Praised are you. Praised are you. Lord our God. Lord our God. Ruler of the universe. Ruler of the universe. Who has kept us alive. Who has kept us alive. Has sustained us. Has sustained us. And enabled us. And enabled us. To reach this day. To reach this day. It is truly my blessing to pronounce you according to the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the laws of Moses and the Jewish people. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You can break the glass. Mazel tov! Jennifer's very kind and she gets them to relax. They enjoy exercising together. They enjoy the same type of food together. David's favorite friends are Jennifer's favorite friends. Jennifer adores David's group of college and soccer buddies, so it's a great compliment. And David enjoys Jennifer's friends. She comes from a, a line of tough women. You have to understand that. She's not only gonna get tough. Tells you how to dress, when, where to go, when to go. And that's the way it is. And it'll get worse. The big key here, David, as long as you say yes, it'll be a match made in heaven. Jennifer and Dave, they share a lot of things in common. For one, they share the same family values. They both honor, respect, and love their parents. They both love spending time with family. They love their siblings. And that's a great recipe for a successful marriage. Both responsible, honest, hardworking, and more importantly, they love each other. Jennifer, I see how you truly adore Dave. I see the love in your eyes when you look at Dave. One of your greatest qualities, Jen, is you make Dave a better person, and in return, Dave makes you a better person, which I didn't think was possible. I read something a few days ago that resonated with me, and I want to share this with both of you. A successful marriage is not finding someone you can live with, but a partner you cannot live without. I think the two of them will thrive. They'll hopefully raise a beautiful family and share their lives with their existing family and um, be very successful in love and um, with their careers. I'm so excited that my little brother found the love of his life. You allow each other to be yourselves, accept each other's imperfections, but most importantly, your love for one another is undeniable. I can't wait to see where life takes you to. I love you both. If I did have a crystal ball, I would see a very happy, loving future together. I see a couple of kids and, and a dog and a beautiful life together. When Jennifer was growing up, my favorite season by far was summer because Jennifer was home. And as a result, we planned trips coast to coast, including Jennifer's favorite, Las Vegas, where she quickly became addicted to Kino. It was on those trips we developed a loving bond that can never be broken. And I want to thank you, Jenny, for spending your summers with me. 
Those memories will last a lifetime. And we have thousands of stories and traditions, but the most meaningful for me as your father is whenever I tucked you in at night, I would ask three questions. So Jen, in public, for the public, maybe for the last time, let's share our loving tradition, okay? Who do I love? Me. How much? So much. How much? Big. Big. My moment in time, Mom, you were the wind beneath my wings. Dave and I always had that special song. We um, spent a lot of time together since I raised Karen David, and um, it was a very special moment, my dance with my son. Jen was the quintessential middle child. She never talked back. She strangely did all of her homework, and she never broke the rules. But things have certainly changed since then. Well, Haley and I still need the attention, but Jen has become a beautiful, confident woman with the best style out of anyone in a room and a very decisive opinion on everything, and that's how she got Dave. They complement each other in just about every way possible, and the biggest thing they have in common is how much they love each other. They like to have dinner together at five o'clock, they like to be in bed by eight o'clock each night, and they are so happy to spend time together no matter where they are or what they are doing. And what we love the most is seeing Jen laugh until she can't breathe from Dave's sense of humor. You're so happy and lucky to be standing by your side as you marry the love of your life. We knew from the day we met Dave that he was the one. He not only makes our Jenny the happiest, but he is also our family's personal comedian. We simply could not be happier for our Jen and Dave. We love you both tremendously and wish you nothing but constant laughs, love, and happiness. That's love. It's all about Jenny and Dave. I was told you can't say anything bad about David's family, especially his mother. I would never say anything bad about his mother, only about David.